As I was researching field history tracking, I, I ran across this article in uh, in Admin Hero that that Brent Downey wrote that I is um, is quite good. This is a little more than two years old, but it's a, it's a quick read. And more importantly, take a look at the comments because there's some really good kind of thoughts that people had about this. And again, it shows a, so it shows great collaboration. Uh, so basically, what it's doing it's it's building a custom object uh, to be able to capture field history tracking. Uh, that's 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 captured through a process builder. So this is a quick run through just to show you kind of how the process worked uh, and and that it did work, which is quite cool. Um, even a couple years later, so it's still uh, it's still happening. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out here. I'm going to go out to uh, to set up and I'm going to open up um, uh, the God Object Manager. We're going to go to create a new object and. Uh, the object information, and again, this is pretty much straight out of his article, so probably the best thing to do is to take a look there. But if you have questions, um, this is the current version at this point. Um, and then kind of once you've, you've built your custom object and you've saved it, uh, then what you have to do is to go into the relationships uh, and fields and build out um, the fields. So here's what, what he suggested, and I, I, again, I captured these pretty much directly from what he had. Um, so take a look at the article, but the idea is, is that that's the way to kind of build out your fields. Um, and then uh, kind of once you've built those two, uh, then what you want to do is you want to jump into um, Process Builder. So you can find Process Builder, uh, entering it process here into, um, and this is the setup, right? And what you get is, is processes, uh, clicking new is going to bring you to a new process here, which uh, you can name um, and then give it a description and you're going to create it. Uh, when a record changes, again, there's some, some things you might want to play with here just in terms of volume and how you, how you work it, but, but it, worked, it worked as a test. Um, and so uh, clicking save. Um, drops you to the process builder and what you're doing is identifying a starting object which is opportunity uh, when it's created or edited because what you're really trying to do again is, is track changes. Uh, you click save and it runs you to then um, this is the criteria page which says uh, what you want to do is to be able to um, uh, manage kind of when the conditions are met and the conditions uh, and actually, his article does a good job of that. Uh, he did a good pullout just because it's it's still a problem. Um, so if you look at this box right here, halfway down, these are actually the field names that that he has, uh, you know, showing up here, um, which work out well. And so what you're doing is just just checking to see whether or not uh, anything has changed, you know, dates and other information within your opportunity record, um, and assuming those happen, what you're going to be doing then is taking, you're adding an, an action to the process builder and the action is going to be to create a new record. And this is uh, what you're doing is building out an opportunity field history, which is the custom object you built in the, in, uh, in, in the first stage of all this. And then as you're building out these, um, these fields, what you need to do is to make sure that kind of as you add, so if you're adding the, 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 the amount, um, we're going to add a new row and we're going to say here, this is the amount and uh, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit just to show you because these were a little bit tricky. So if you go into previous, these are all formulas and he's got it well documented. The challenge is, is that until you've really used Process Builder, it can get a little bit, uh, a little bit hard. So what, what you're doing here is you're actually going to create, use a, a function, um, and you're going to navigate into the logic side, and you're going to go to previous here, prior value, and you're going to choose that. And then when you're here, what you want to do is, you know, you're going to be replacing this field. So the easy thing to do is to highlight it and delete it and then to add the field, and this is the field called amount. So we're just gonna be typing amount here um, and selecting it and then choosing it. 
And then the last step you always need to make sure to do is to use this formula. Uh, and so what that does is to add it here. And assuming you don't get any errors, you can keep rolling. Um, and then to fill out the full list, uh, what he also then w used was a double um, formula because this is a pick list. So what you had was um, a, a, the prior value, which kind of I just showed you, but then also you need to have created a, a, a text as the first piece of the formula. Um, so it's text and then just again, replace it with the prior value and replace it with uh, the field that works. Um, and so that gives you, um, this is the, the action you're going to be taking. So you're clicking save here. And what that does is to say, would you like to activate this? Because that's the, that's the next step of this simple process. And you say, sure. So at that point, it's active. So what I did then was to go out to a, uh, an example, just, just one of my, uh, an opportunity. This is, again, in the, in the dev work. So um, what I did was to change the, uh, the amount and some other information here and then saved it. And what I found was that I, in addition to stage history, what I picked up was field history. So this is the opportunity fields that we were capturing. Um, and it's able to tell me kind of what information I captured. Um, I've also got the opportunity to, to go out to this opportunity field history record, which is related. Uh, and it shows the information that I captured that was from the, you know, again, that's the custom object that we caught through the process builder. And then going out to reports, I was able to create just this basic standard report, uh, you know, lots that we can do. And that's actually picking up some, some other information that I've done as well. So some process builder stuff that may need fixing. But in the meantime, uh, really interesting and, and good luck giving this flow and do take a look at that, uh, that article.